Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ask Prep. In today's video we are going to discuss about chemical effect of electric current. Let's get started. What is electricity? Electricity is a form of energy resulting from the movement of electrons. To understand it better, we must explore the atomic structure as electricity arises from the interactions between particles within atoms. Static electricity, the branch of physics which deals with the study of the electric charges at rest and their effects is known as electrostatics or static electricity. Current electricity, the branch of physics which deals with the study of the electric charges in motion and their effects is known as current electricity. Electric charge, electric charge, also called the quantity of electricity, is a fundamental component of everyday matter. Objects are made of molecules and atoms, atoms are made of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and the protons and electrons are made in part out of electric charge. Electric charge is substance-like. If you have a quantity of charge, you cannot destroy it, you can only move it from place to place. A flow of electric charge is called electric current. Electric current formula? The quantity of charge Q is related to current I and time T by the equation Q is equal to I multiply T Q, where Q is equal to electric charge in columns, I is equal to electric current in amperes, T is equal to time in seconds. Types of electric charge There are two types of charges. Positive charge occurs when an object has more protons than electrons. Negative charge occurs when an object has more electrons than protons. Normally, objects are electrically neutral because they contain equal amounts of positive and negative charge. When this balance is disturbed, the object becomes charged. Conservation of charge Electric charge is conserved, meaning it cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred from one object to another. For example, if electrons are transferred from one object to another, the object losing electrons becomes positively charged. The object gaining electrons becomes negatively charged. The total charge between the two objects remains constant. This principle is called the conservation of charge. Transferring electric charge, static electricity, the transfer of electric charge through rubbing objects is a common phenomenon. When plastic is rubbed with fur, electrons from the fur transfer to the plastic, leaving the fur positively charged and the plastic negatively charged. When glass is rubbed with silk, electrons are typically rubbed off from the glass onto the silk, leaving the glass positively charged and the silk negatively charged. This process is known as triboelectric charging, and it is one of the ways in which static electricity is generated. The rubbing action transfers electrons between the two materials, creating an imbalance of charges. Properties of charge 1. Like charges repel each other, and unlike charges attract each other. 2. The charge is quantized, that is charge on an object is equal to plus or minus any where n is an integer, and e is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power 19 column. 3. Electric charge is a scalar quantity. 4. The electric charge on a system is always conserved. Next is unit of charge. The charge on an electron is so small that it is not convenient to select it as the unit of charge. In practice, column is used as the unit of charge, that is C unit of charge is column abbreviated as C. One column of charge is equal to the charge on 6.25 times 1016 electrons. Next is earthing. We may find only two points or terminals in the plug point of our house. But they may also have three points. The third point at the top is called the earth terminal and is connected to a thick wire that goes into the ground. Thus, earthing protects us from electrical shocks. If there is any leakage of current in the appliance, 
then it will flow through the thick wire into the earth conductors those substances which allow electricity to pass through them easily are called conductors example most of the metals are conductors silver metal is the best conductor of electricity followed by copper gold and aluminum electric wires are made of copper or aluminum because they have very low resistance due to which there is minimum loss of electric energy during its transmission insulators those substances which do not allow electricity to pass through them are called insulator example vacuum is the best insulator in addition to it rubber plastics wood mica porcelain etc are insulators electricians wear rubber hand gloves while working with electricity semiconductors those substances whose conductivity lies in between the conductors and insulators are called semiconductors example silicon germanium are semiconductors semiconductors may become conductors by increasing its temperature electric current the electric current is a flow of electric charges called electrons in a conductor metal wire it is the amount of electric charge passing through a given point of conductor in one second if a charge of q coulombs flows through a conductor in time t sec then the magnitude of the electric current i flows through it is given by unit of electric current the si unit of current is ampere when one coulomb of charge flows through any cross section of a conductor in one second the electric current flowing through it is said to be 1 ampere i is equal to vr instrument used to measure current is called ammeter it should have a very low resistance it is connected in series in the circuit direction of electric current we know that there are two types of charges positive charges and negative charges but electron were not discovered at that time so electric current was considered to be the flow of positive charges and the direction of flow of the positive charges were taken to be the direction of electric current the direction of electric current is from positive terminal of cell to the negative terminal through the circuit electric circuit the path of flow of electricity starting from one terminal of cell and returning to the other is called an electrical circuit it consists of conducting wires and other resistances like lamps etc between the terminals of a battery along which an electric current flows open electric circuit an electric circuit through which no electric current flows is known as open electric circuit The electric circuit will be open circuit if the plug of the key is taken out or if the connecting wire breaks from any point. Closed circuit, an electric circuit through which electric current flows continuously is known as closed circuit. Chemical effect of electric current, when an electric current is passed through water containing sulfuric acid, the water breaks up into its components hydrogen and oxygen. Therefore an electric current can cause a chemical change. This effect of electric current is used in electroplating i coating a thin layer of a metal on another metal. The metal which is to be electroplated is made cathode and the metal to be deposited is made anode while the soluble salt of the same metal serves as the electrolyte. When a current is passed a thin film of metal is deposited on the metal which becomes electroplated. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy learning about the chemical effect of electric current. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting science videos. See you next time.